Hi everybody, it's Kay. Welcome to the Featured Five, the book club edition. So I'm going to show you the next five books that my club has lined up to read in our cycle. Now, there are 10 people in the club, and instead of voting on all 10 books at one time, we vote on five at a time. I don't know how or why we ended up doing that, but we just did. Now let me tell you how we choose our books, which may be a little bit different from how other people choose their books. It used to be that whoever hosted the book club chose the book. But then there were people who felt like some of the books that were being chosen to read were not of the quality and caliber of what they wanted to read. And so that idea was scrapped. And we started then, everyone nominated two or three books. They all um, went into a, um, a, a list and we voted on all of those books and the top books were the ones that we read. The problem with that was that people were nominating books that were never chosen and it wasn't fair to those people. So we changed again and the way that we do it now is this. Each person nominates three books and when we vote, we vote strictly for your three books. Out of the three books that you nominated, which one do we want to read? We vote on a Likert scale of one to five. One being, now I don't really want to read that, to five, oh my God, I'm going to read that book. So now, no matter what, one of your books will be chosen and read by the club. And everybody thinks this is a much more fair way to do it. So I will tell you what was nominated and what we chose to read. Now, the first person in this group of five nominated Daughters of the Dust by Julie Dash. The Girl Who Fell from the Sky, I think that's by um, Heidi Duro, and then Queen Sugar by Natalie Bazile. And we voted to read Queen Sugar. And then I nominated The Book of Harlan by Bernice McFadden, <laughs> Freeman by Leonard Pitts Jr., and Homegoing by Ya Gaiesi. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I'm just going to say Ya. They voted to read Homegrown. I can tell you my feelings on that. Okay, so I really, really, really wanted my book club to read the Book of Harlem because I think they would lose it. I think they would love it. But at the same time, I've been flirting with Homegrown in the library. You know, walk in and just stare on the shelf. And so I've been flirting with it for quite a while, but I didn't want to read it unless the book club. And just in case the book club voted on it, and they did. So we're going to read Homegoing. And I think maybe I'll nominate the Book of Harlan again next year. <laughs> oh my God, I, re I just really wanted us to read the Book of Harlan. But I'm very happy that they chose Homegoing. Okay, um, the third person nominated Anna Story by Jenna Bush. Under Our Skin by Benjamin Watson, and Why Should White Guys Get to Have All the Fun by Reginald Lewis, and we voted to read Anna Story. The fourth person nominated Red River by Lolita um, Tatami, A Thousand Splendid Sons by Clarissa Cini, and When Breath Becomes Air by Paul Kalanithi, and we voted to read When Breath Becomes Air. And finally, the fifth person nominated Call Me Tuesday by Lee Byrne, Room by Emma Donahue, and A Thousand Splendid Sons by Colin Cassini. And we voted to read A Thousand Splendid Sons. So let me give you some thoughts. I'm glad that we're not reading Room. I did a video on that book years ago. I tried to read it and I wasn't a fan. I listened to it on audio and it made it much better listening to it, but I still had a lot of problems with that book. And I haven't seen the, the movie, so I don't know what the visual interpretation was. It's not that I hated the book, I just had some issues with it. So, anyway, I'm just glad that we're not reading it as a book club. A Thousand Splendid Sons, here's my problem with this one. I love this book. I love A Thousand Splendid Sons. I listened to it on audio twice. And I own the book. And now I'm, I'm faced with that same doggone dilemma. Do I read it again in full? Do I listen to it again? Or do I skim through? I don't know. The problem with skimming through is that there'll be some things that you forgot. You know? 
even though I'm very familiar with the story, there are always going to be those little intricate things that I forgot. And when it's brought up at club, I'm like, I'll be like, oh, I forgot about that. So I just don't know at this point which one I'm going to do. If I'm going to read it, listen to it, or skim through it. I don't know. I'm facing that same dilemma right now. We have a book club meeting October 8th. I haven't started the book yet because I've been reading Talent of God and trying to read, um, uh, what's the book? Um, no One Is Coming to Save Us, which is very good. But I, trying to juggle all these books sometimes gets to be a bit too much, you know. So the book that I'm having the dilemma about is Blood Done Sign My Name by Timothy B. Tyson. Now, I like the book. I listened to it on audio years ago. I own the book. I've seen the movie. A friend of mine was actually an extra in that movie. And, um, yeah, it, it was. It, they did a decent job with the movie, but... Um, I don't, I'm not in the mood to read that book again. I'm just not in the mood to read it. You know what I mean? I'm, not, I'm just not in the mood. But, um, you know, you make a commitment to be in a club. You really should read the book. So I'm going to start like October 1st. You know, give myself some chance to fill it, finish Talent of God. I'm not going to finish um, the other book, No One Is Coming to Save Us. I'm not going to finish that. In I, I just don't think I am. I'm going to have to check it out from the library again or end up buying it. And I'm rambling and I'm sorry. But I just don't, I'm just not in the mood to read that book again. But I need to read it, you know. Yeah. I might even get Audible just so I can listen to it again and not really have to sit and read it again. Not that it's a bad book. It's based on a true story about a black man who's killed the white um, by white people in Oxford, North Carolina, is based on a true story. And the story told from the perspective of Timothy Tyson when he was a little boy and he witnessed all this. His son was a pastor at a church and he was trying to bring the community together, bring peace and love and happiness to that community, help them, you know, come together. So it's a good story. I just am not in the mood to read it. I mean, it, it, it's just like what we're, what we're seeing, you know, in the United States now with the racial unrest. So, anywho, I'm rambling. I've rambled on too long. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for other Featured 5 videos coming up very, very soon. Have a great day, everybody, and bye-bye.